Yes, sir. It's Wrestling Night in Iowa. I'm Midnight Guthrie alongside the right price Aaron Masterson. Welcome to 3X Wrestling. And Aaron, we are only a week away from two huge events here in Central Iowa. I know. I can't wait. Downtown Destruction 4 takes place. That's headlined with two title matches. Two huge night. singles matches as we have... Uh, Perry Saturn defending the Pure Wrestling Championship against Mark Sterling. That should be a wild one. Yeah, not and to mention what the I, heavyweight title. Yeah, the heavyweight title match should be a real tremendous technical contest as new champion, the professional Ben Saylor, defends against Jason Strife, who is just an incredible striker in his own right. Mm -hmm. And he's been on a hot streak of late, so we'll have to see which wins out there. So that's on June 29th in Des Moines. Visit 3xwrestling.com for all the ticket information you need. And then the next day we will be in Mingo, Iowa, June 30th for the Mingo Days Town Festival. It should be a great event. We love going out there every year and uh, entertaining the fans of Mingo, one of the great towns in Iowa. And now, let's get to the matches. Hey, let's do it. Quite frankly, this is going to be the biggest test of his career. Yeah, he's got to be excited. His first gauntlet for the gold tonight. But right now. He makes it there, Aaron. Let's that's be true. Honest. He's got to survive Mark Sterling. And let me tell you, I was backstage earlier. You want to talk about a man who's bitter right now? Mark Sterling would be the name I'd mention. Ray Stryker coming off getting brutally beaten by the Mauler. Now has to face the challenge of the former 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, a very angry one at that, and the world's fittest wrestler, Mark Sterling. Yeah, we'll see if he's up for the challenge here. When those sirens and play, Stryker, I mean, he knows this is a, both a huge opportunity and a moment of pause right now. He's, the look in his eyes, I'm not gonna say he's scared, but he's cautious. And there's Mark Sterling. Oh my God. Even Travis Peterson was standing back there. I'm Mark not sure Sterling he knew what to do. He's intense. Lost the As heavyweight title in that incredible Iron Man match. Fortunately, Jeremy Wyatt, the winner, broke his leg, and that's why we have the situation tonight where the winner of the Gauntlet for the Mold is the new heavyweight champion, and he knows he wants to make quick work of Ray Stryker and focus on eliminating 29 other men in the Gauntlet for yeah, the Mold. Yeah, you think he doesn't know what's up for grabs tonight? Oh, what a strike. Good grief. You notice he's even shaved off that wild man beard he had, and I think he looks... God, he looks scarier than ever, quite frankly. He probably shaved it off until he wins that title back. Irish whip hard into the buckle. Big charging knee. Gee. I wouldn't fault Ray Stryker one bit if he just left the ring right now. Now what's this, Aaron? Now come on, Aaron. He's got a front face lock. What is he doing here? Oh, just clubbing oh balls on the L, just crunched. And at this point, it's academic. It's just up to Sterling when he wants to end it. Ray Stryker. And he's got so much heart, I imagine we will see him in the gauntlet for the goal later this evening, but at what cost? Everyone wants to win the heavyweight title. Even Ray Stryker gets a chance in the gauntlet. But man, oh! Right through Big him. Spear almost speared me out of my own headset there. Right through him. What a dominant performance by Mark Sterling. An intense dominating performance. Yo! Look at Sterling, he's checking the time it took to finish off Ray Stryker there. I'm not sure he's satisfied with that time. 
You gotta right, admire the, you gotta admire the guts of Ray Stryker. He always comes to fight. And then once the rookie gains some more experience, I look forward to seeing his career blossom here in 3X Wrestling. Oh, come on! Now he's a planet of Earth. Come on! That's enough! That's ridiculous! Come on, Stop Sterling! Here. Stop it! What is wrong with you? Let him go! Let him go! That's What's enough! That necessary? That's enough! He's telling us to keep talking. Somebody get him some help. He's well, gonna he break his to, back! He wants everyone to talk about him right now. He's gonna break his back to remind Let him. him go! Let him go! Oh! He's Aaron. still the fittest wrestler in the Aaron. world. He doesn't want anybody to forget. Enough's enough. Uh, we're rough to meet Punk. That was enough, man. I'll tell you when it's enough. It's all right, Midnight. Someone get a hold of that guy. You know he's a loose cannon. Spit all over my face. The other guys. They think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the T. There's a Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all-meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. I have seen a lot of shocking, surprising things in the seven year history of 3X Wrestling. But tonight, Ben Saylor, you are the new 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. You outlasted 29 other men in the gauntlet for the gold. And I gotta say, I'm just, I'm completely surprised. Completely surprised. You think it's a surprise? And you're duller than I thought you were. Because this 3XW World Heavyweight title that's around my waist is now one of three heavyweight titles that currently resides around this waist. It's getting a little clustered and a little hard not to notice. So if you didn't see it, you're dumber than I thought you were. Because it's becoming undeniable truth that I am the best around. So anyone in the back that holds an opinion contrary to that, from your Jason Strifes to your gimped up Jeremy Wyatt's and even your Mark Sterling's. You see, it doesn't matter. You hold an opinion contrary to that and you want a coral, sir? There's 324 square foot of canvas elevated in the center of the arena surrounded by four posts and three ropes. It ain't hard to find and that's where the professional lives. That's my hunting ground. So you want to get into a shootout with the best around? You just step through those ropes and you walk right into the crosshairs of the professional. Big time tag team title action. Nobody does tag team wrestling better in the Midwest than 3X Wrestling. You're absolutely right. And this should be a heck of a challenge for our champions, the American Bulldogs, as we await the entrance of Eric Cannon and Darren Corbin. Wrestling until that vicious attack on Mike Seidel. He took, he injured Seidel's groin with repeated attacks, and Seidel will be out of action for a number of months. As here we have the team of Eric Cannon and Eric Corbin. Eric Cannon trained Eric Corbin to wrestle there. He tried to tag team all over the country, but they got a big challenge ahead of them against our 3X Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the American Bulldogs. Yeah, when we had our most recent 
Tag Team Title Tournament. These two were in the finals. champions in the history of 3X Wrestling. All right, they defended the title once in a tremendous battle with the Kentucky Buffet in Grinnell, Iowa. They are willing to take on all competitors, all sorts of new tag teams, and but tonight the they have a real challenge. The Bulldogs come out on top tonight. They're already slated to defend the title a total of four times in June alone. Should they continue to hold the titles? Yes. But I mean, this is Corbin and Cannon are coming off of, they recently wrestled in Chicago, Illinois for Chicago Pro Wrestling against the Young Bucks, who really are one of the wildest, most high-flying teams in the country. These two, the technical ability and the underhanded tactics combined of Corbin and Cannon makes them a dangerous threat to any tag team title. Absolutely, we remember Darren Corbin was part of the longest reigning tag team in 3X Wrestling history. Tag team champions. Tag team champions, yes. excuse 20 me. 20-month reign with his former partner, Ryan Cruz, they were the North Star Express. Eric Cannon just last month lost the pure wrestling title in that triple threat match with Perry Saturn and SBC. Yeah. But just because he's got a different partner, don't partner, don't think that Darren Corbin doesn't know how to professionally oh, wrestle. Have traveled team together style. for years. Cannon regularly teams up in Dragon Gate USA with Sammy Callahan. Let us use the abbreviation for their name, the DUF. You have to look up the full phrasing there because I can't say it on television. <laughs> we are slated to have Mad Dog and Darren Corbin start off here. The ginger with no soul. Mad Dog McDowell, the biggest man in 3X Wrestling. And he's got a prime spot in that gauntlet for the gold as he won the final entrant, number 30, by virtue of winning a battle royal in his hometown, Grinnell, last month. That's quite an advantage to have in a matchup like that. And he has the tag team championships to think about. He's got a lot on his plate tonight when you think about it. And then you have their manager, Skyler Pierce, always a sportsman-like manager, doesn't try to involve himself too much. And for that, I think he's even more successful. So we have a pose off here. I don't think this is going well for Corbin. Oh, oh look goes, at that cheap shot. He resorts to a cheap shot there. The 300 pounder, Mad Dog McDowell. John West, a deceptive, he's a legitimate 260 pounds. You wouldn't know it with that high flying ability of his. Yeah, good luck with that, Darren Corbin, let me tell you. Mad Dog is a hoss. He's not going anywhere. Oh. Corbin hits the mat hard. You're not going to match strength with Mad Dog McDowell. What a head oh, Wow. Kick out there. Darren Corbin emitted a scream right before he took that headbutt. Body slam. And here we go, it's all here. American Bulldog. Big flip there by John West. He didn't get all of it, but he got just oh, enough. That athletic ability almost propelled him over his opponent. Yeah. Irish whip. Big drop. Wow, that was a perfectly executed drop kick. Unbelievable. Now, luckily, he was able to keep his opponent out of the corner there. Tag in there. Quick tags in and out, and that's been the trademark of our champions. And they, they, they're using it in, 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 in a growing number of double team maneuvers. Oh, look at that, Corbin. I think he raked the eyes, Aaron. Rake of the eyes there, gets him out of a devastating slam that Mad Dog likes to use. A desperation attempt, you could say. Cannon going to work with the strikes. Yeah, but he's going to work on the crowd, too. 
Took his eyes off. A jawbreaker. Don't see that too often from the big man. No, he usually doesn't need a move like that. But Big clothesline. Whatever's available. Lips his opponent off there. Oh, and Corbin the, with the knee. Uh oh. Oh, oh wildly with really a strike. Him. Oh, what Locked a clothesline. Oh, my word, Aaron. Turned him inside out. Skyler Pierce looks to be in shambles after that move. Well, you can't blame him. John West is going to be walking a straight line to Squiggly Town after that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Alive. He squiggled his way there. And alive. Now look at Eric Cannon positioning himself between Mad Dog and John West here. And so far, instead of working on a particular part of each opponent's body, it's more a matter of who can use the most tag team style wrestling moves. And look at the underhand tag. That was not a tag. That's not, not a tag. And a Jeremy tag. Robb must have heard the smack of the hands. Well, you and have leaves. to see it, Aaron. You got to see it. I understand. That. I don't fault your your logic there. Well, Cannon's claiming it. They used the tag rope. Legally. He's trying to show him the other tag rope and then show him that. That's just enough to distract him. And on his way out of the ring, it's a devastating knee. You could argue that the legal man is back in the ring. Leg across the throat there by Cannon. Cannon, probably the best hand-to-hand -hand striker in 3X wrestling, a great technical wrestler. Very agile, very athletic, and really pull off the high flying maneuvers. Now he too. just got Mad Dog mad. That's a, that's a bad idea. It's hard for Jeremy Robb to hold a guy like Mad Dog back. He was able to deliver just enough of a strike. But. And they got the champs that got to know better than that, especially in a high-profile matchup like that. Yeah, but that's Southpaw, Darren Corbin goes to work with that left hand. Look at those strikes. Yeah, that's exactly what these two do, though. They frustrate you, and they want, they get you in the ring when you're not supposed to be. Oh, my! Impressive strength by Mando McDowell. He carries that much weight when he works out every day, folks, lifting those cinder blocks, those tractor tires. And what are these two setting up for? Oh! Oh! Wow! He missed John, John West. West. Though, knocks Cannon out of the ring. Wait a minute, Corbin went for the ginger snap. Unable to hit it though. John West, it's got him up for the Patriot, Patriot Act. Act. Oh! He kicked him low. He kicked him low, just like he did the side now. Cor Corbin has won! They won the tag team titles. Where's Skyler Pierce, Pierce going? Wait a minute. We got new tag team champions. That was the most illegal of me, Darren. Oh, the referee has ruled. Skyler Pierce got the referee. Wow, quick on his feet, Skyler wow. Pierce. Mad Dog Great dives for in. Once, for once, the officials uphold the honor of the rules of wrestling here in a championship situation. And an unbelievable outcome. That would have been our fourth title change in four months as far as the tag team titles. Well, that's why we are the best tag team division in oh, all and are furious. What a wild series of events. John West, though, you can't expect him to even continue this match now. He has been decimated. This is essentially a handicap match. Derek if there's Corbin anyone you'd want for same style of groin attack. Mike Seidel out now for at least the summer. Oh, he broke through. Huge clothesline. Thankfully, Skylar Pierce was there. Thankfully, the referees were watching the footage in the back. Oh, he escapes it. Oh, what a fist. Ginger snap. Oh, super kick. That's got to be all. Oh, no. Power out by Mad Dog. Only Mad Dog McDowell could power out of a move like that. Unbelievable. They How much does he have left? It. At what point do these men take these titles 
from the American Bulldogs. I believe Jeremy Robb oh, needs to remove right. one of them from the ring. John West trips Eric Cannon. Corbin stops dead in his tracks. Oh! <laughs> wow! Choke into the spine buster, and the Bulldogs have it. successfully defended the titles. Big win for the American Bulldogs. What a wild series of events. Very, very controversial. I believe that we saw them change. That is not going to sit well with Corbin and Cannon. What an effort, There's a little like Sean here about this one. Man, these tag team matches, just absolutely wild attractions here at 3X Wrestling. Huge wins for the American Bulldogs as they go forward with quite a long schedule of upcoming title defenses. And this is only the first of many to come. And we could be looking at one of the heavyweight champions in the ring right now as well. Absolutely. All four of these men will be in the gauntlet for the gold, but Mad Dog McDowell's got the best spot of all, number 30, final entry. The crowd in Des Moines loves the American Bulldogs. How could he not? Hard-working American individual. Cannon and Corbin are furious. Cannon's calling from the microphone now. is a friend of mine. He's not a trained professional. What are you doing? That is ridiculous. Someone's going to need to check on Skylar Pierce. What is wrong with you? I'm doing my job, pal. That is sickening. Sickening. We gotta get Skylar Pierce some help. Aaron, what is this? He's gonna need medical attention. I mean, that's the same blow that took out Mike Seidel. this way. We shouldn't be wrestling the American Bulldogs in June. We shouldn't be the non 3XW tag champions and we shouldn't be getting USA yelled at us when we're from America. What is wrong with this place? Oh man. <sighs> Oh, 
Jonathan West, Puppy Dog McDowell. In June, Darren Corbin and I are taking you boys out behind the woodshed. And we're going to put you dogs to sleep. 